Wagwan. I hope this lighting is ooh, the ghetto. I hope this lighting is A1. Let me not say A1. I hope it's decent. Um, I don't really feel good, but I really wanted to do this yesterday. But anyway, today we're going to talk about natural deodorant while I do a face mask, which is why I'm coming to you looking ashy. First and foremost, because these lips, this is not... Mm -mm. So pardon me if you see me look a little out of it. I am nauseous. I've been nauseous all day. No, I am not preguntas. Um, probably something I ate. I had a weak ass stomach. Anywho, so we're going to talk about natural deodorants that I've used my experience with natural deodorant, as well as do a face mask, which is why I'm so ashy. Um, my skin has been trash since quarantine has started. Don't really know what it is, but I'm with the punches right now. So I washed my face and exfoliated, and my face is dry. I never let my face get this dry, but I had to get everything else together while before I started recording. So I'm just gonna explain to you the mask that I'm making really quickly, because this is not a tutorial. I just wanna multitask. And then we'll talk about the deodorants. Okay, so real quick, I'm gonna take a warm rag to kind of rehydrate my face a little bit. And then I'm just using organic, not organic, um, turmeric powder from Trader Joe's. And just some honey, nothing special. I would use Trader Joe's organic, oh, I would use Trader Joe's honey if I had it, but great, anybody got top of that. I'm just taking those two, no real measurements. I just eyeball it. You don't want it to be like cakey, but you don't want it to be super honey y, liquidy. I don't know. I really just eyeball it. I've been making this mask for some time. I'm not really about to go through the benefits of honey and turmeric. Google it. Okay, yeah, I'm just gonna combine that, put it on my face, leave it for 30, 15, 30 minutes, and that usually brings life back to my skin. So, let's get started. The first one I want to talk about, which I believe is the first natural deodorant I've used, was first backtrack. Let me first explain why I started using natural deodorant. Um, I've never been a, I've never really cared for deodorant. Um, I'm a very sweaty person. Like I sweat. Like I'm that girl in a club that you gotta ring me out. I can only wear black. I remember like one time I wore gray to the club, and if I find the footage of my phone, mm -hmm. I will insert it. Um, the shirt was dark gray. It's not cute. I've come to understand that everybody sweats. It's normal. My goal is just not to stink. It is what it is. But like, I don't know about everybody else, but when I would bathe, deodorant never felt like it fully came from under my arm. And no, it's not really a matter of bathing, scrubbing hard enough. I would fucking hurt myself if I scrubbed any harder. Um, deodorant just, antiperspirant just sticks. It just, it fucks up all your shirts. And because I sweat so much, I used to wear so much deodorant that you ever had on deodorant and took off like a black shirt especially and it's like you get those deodorant stains in your shirt where it's like it's just like caked in there it happened to all my shirts all of them i couldn't let a shirt last um those are m the main things and then also like i know it clogs your lymph nodes i don't know everything about that whole process but i know it's clearly not the healthiest thing so i wanted to change that so about summer of 2018 2017 i decided to try natural deodorant Probably should have started that in the summer. Not gonna hold you. Um, so your underarms basically have to detox. And I'm knowing me, I did this impulsively. Because um, I can decide to do something tonight and I'll Google and research it over the night and end up buying something by the morning. Um, so like I said, it was kind of... I'm gonna use this end, this end. We'll use this end. It was kind of impulsive. So, I might be missing a deodorant or two, but to my knowledge, these are the ones I remember using. So, the first one I remember using is called, I'll insert pictures. The first one is Love and Planet. The scent I used was coconut. So, they sell this at Target. I'm not sure what else they sell it at. But that shit smells so good. They have, like, lotions and shampoos and stuff, too, which also smell really, really great. Um, so, this one... I'm not sure if that one has baking soda in it. To my knowledge, it didn't. That one was where I fucked up. It had my underarms feeling like super raw. 
like it was just wet and i guess that's something you also learn when you're transferring from regular to um not irregular from antiperspirants to natural deodorants is that that whole drying factor is not really a thing um and it was very wet like very very wet like my underarms just felt moist all the time to the point that's like it kind of gave me i don't know if it was the constant moisture or if it was the deodorant itself it just irritated the shit out of my underarms so i was like cool okay i'm gonna lay off it it smells great like i love their lotions and stuff like that it smells super good but as their deodorant is not it especially for somebody who sweats like me if you're somebody who really doesn't really sweat you can most likely get pot with it but for me it was not the wave um after that i believe i had tried i don't know if i'm going in order i'm just trying to say what i remember i tried lemons so at the time I was working at a retail store, right? Um, like I said, I sweat a lot. And being at the store, I was sweating all the time because I was constantly moving around. So me being self-conscious, I'm like, I'm at work with a fucking lemon wedge in my pocket. Um, running to the bathroom every five seconds, wiping, making sure, just checking, I'm wiping it off, reapplying it. Not putting into mind that a lemon would make my skin super raw. Now, I know there's people who do this and they say, oh, they live by yada, yada, yada. Different shows for different folks. That shouldn't work for me. After like two days, like my underarm just got like super duper raw to the point where I couldn't put anything underneath it because it was just like raw. That's the best way I could describe it. Um, it was painful. I was musty. I was ripe. Using natural deodorant will have you ripe as hell. Um, it just wasn't the wave. Hold on, I'm not even focusing on this mask. Excuse me for a moment. Yeah, it just had me ripe and it had my doms raw. That could have been a combination of things as far as like me applying too much. Um, that most likely was a factor. But um, yeah, that wasn't the wave. So... I had got on YouTube and Googled, you know, not Googled, YouTubed some natural deodorants for men. Because I'm figuring if for men it's going to be a little more potent because supposedly men sweat more. Whatever. So I was introduced to Sam's. I'm going to tell you the exact name of it. It's called Sam's Natural. Um, so Sam's had a lot of smells. And what you'll notice is that a lot of natural deodorants have more like essential oil type fragrances like you're not going to get like baby powder or um what else this is very ghetto but try to mind your business i don't want to do it my hands i would usually apply this with my hands but they don't have like baby powder it'll be like cedar wood or tea tree or lavender lemongrass things that you mostly can find in essential oil form which is fine with me because i do enjoy those scents Tea tree, not so much, but anywho, the scents that I believe I grabbed, because they had like a two for one price, I grabbed the women's scent, that's literally what it's called, the women's scent, and I believe I also grabbed sport. Women was okay, from what I remember. It was kind of citrusy. Um, now, sport, on the other hand, I don't really know what the scent was, a scent for you, but anyway, it just didn't mix smell with me. Like, I mean, mix well. Just like they say, like, when you try perfumes, how, like, you gotta let it see if it works with your body chemistry. I didn't even wipe my face off like I was supposed to. Bring a whole warm rag in here for nothing. But, um, yeah, it just didn't work well with me. I didn't care for how it smelled at all, honestly. And especially when I sweat. But I had to, I wanted to give it a try, especially because I paid for it. So I was like, fuck it. Also, these have baking soda in them. I didn't understand the whole baking soda thing. I didn't know that was a thing in the natural deodorant community. So, see, yeah, they have any two. Can it focus? Uh, yeah, you get any two for the price of $18.95, um, which is a good still because, you know, natural deodorant is usually expensive. Um, so, yeah, that's when I found out I was a... I had a sensitivity, I'm not going to say allergic, a sensitivity to the baking soda. After that, never did it again. If I can find pictures, I will insert them 
it gives you a rash i don't really know what it's called i found an, like one person speak about it somewhere but if you have the sensitivity that you know what i'm talking about it's kind of like dermatitis in a sense i get dermatitis on like my face and it's kind of like dandruff it was like that in a sense like basically what it did was made my whole underarm like the skin kind of was like eczema type it was like you could tell it was like dry and it wanted to flake up um it got really dark now my underarms are already dark because of the regular deodorant but they got like super dark when that happened like dark dark so i um hated that that also made them super raw because like i said it looked like it wanted to peel right so I'd pick at it because it's like, okay, this kid wants to peel. Let's let's get it moving. And it would peel and look like a brand like brand new skin underneath. Like it would kind of be brighter. It was weird. Like it just it happened so long ago, but it was like not it. So after that, I started to look into like the whole baking soda thing, and I realized, okay, so I can't do the baking soda ones. Now I probably can use baking soda ones. I, it probably just depends on the level of baking soda but because this was like a men's deodorant i'm assuming that the level was like higher um and you can tell because the deodorant was also kind of gritty like it had baking soda in it um so that was a dub uh not that it didn't work the baking soda thing just threw me off but i would i would recommend it i might actually even try it again just to see it's, it's been a while so maybe i have a different reaction i don't know um so actually no we'll do the crystal deodorant um ooh. so the crystal deodorant it was okay i used the roll-on initially and then at a point in time i had to use the thick form the um roll-on was okay like when i the first day i used it i was like oh I had it on for a long time. Like I was at work that day, I didn't really get a chance to refresh myself, and I was like, "Oh, I don't stink. This is a hit." It really wasn't a hit. It didn't last as long as I thought. And that's one thing I've learned with energy deodorants. A lot of them work for like two, three days, maybe a week, maybe a month, and then they stop. I don't know why that is. Maybe that's just me, but I constantly have to like find a new one. Um, and those whole forty-eight hours, twenty-eight hours. Who a toddler? I don't. Please don't believe that, cause I don't. Um, it was cool, but it didn't stick. It wasn't horrible, but it wasn't like long lasting, like I needed it to be. And you know, the liquid form isn't ideal because if you're out and you're like trying to refresh yourself, you don't really want to sit there and take the time for something to dry. You know what I mean? So, like I said, that one was okay. It didn't really do much. It was okay. It wasn't long lasting at all. So next, we have Native. Native was cool. I really liked Native, especially because they had a scent close to the Dove deodorant that I used to use, which was, I actually have a few of them here with me. I have one left over. I had subscribed to Native. I used Native for about three or four months. I used that one for a while. Um, and I started using Native this year, I believe. Maybe even last year sometime. Mm, I don't know. I really liked Native. Um, the smell was nice. The consistency was cool. The one thing with and it lasts a pretty decent time. I probably only had to apply this twice a day, which is good for me. Um, the problem for me was when summer hit. Like I said, I sweat a lot. And let me see because i know this is already used so you can see it kind of resembles a regular deodorant like it's a solid let me rub some of my arm so you can see you know goes on pretty pretty much clear for the most part i really like this one this really reminds me of the um dove cucumber i wasn't gonna get it when i seen mint but i don't smell mint in it but anyway because i sweat so much the native used to run down my arm like milk like, all I would see is this white stuff just running down. And I remember one day I wore, like, a dress or something sleeveless. And all you could see was, like, this white 
like residue stain I'm not gonna say that's their fault I just sweat a lot it is what it is and it was hot as hell this summer but I definitely like native I'm probably gonna go back to this great for the winter it's a good one and it lasts um and this is the one that doesn't have baking soda I believe this is one of their sensitive ones because they do have ones with baking soda in them but I believe this is one of the sensitive ones really 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 like native um another one that I really enjoyed was primal pit paste but they're now known as every frank I believe it's a little sus let me stop um where's the name sorry guys trying to do my googles pretty frank don't know what the hell that means but whatever um they have i don't know if they still do it like that but they had like the jar form i'll answer pictures the jar form and they had like the stick form now there was a problem with the stick form primal pit paste worked too but i guess you just had to get used to like smooth it and it is, it's one of those ones you had to apply with your hands which i didn't really mind like it, it is what it is Primal pit paste worked nice. I used the charcoal one and I used, I want to say lavender. Probably. Yeah, those two. Because as I said, I was trying to stay away from those with baking soda. I don't remember if the one with lavender has baking soda, but those are the two I tried. I didn't have any problems. The problem with primal pit paste was the applicator. I don't have one to show you. I don't know if they even make it like that anymore. From the packaging that I see on the new one, it's resembles the regular deodorant packaging like native it came in like a little circle packaging kind of like those popsicles that you push up it was a cylinder like that that you um did you twist it i don't remember how you yes you that you twist it up the problem with that was there was a screw in the middle so once you reached maybe like a centimeter or half of an inch whatever i don't fucking know once you reach a little bit past using the deodorant, maybe like a week or two into using it, that stick was directly in the middle. How the hell? This is the deodorant. This was the stick. Like this. How am I supposed to apply deodorant with the stick in the middle? So basically, I used to try to apply it with the sides, or I used to just use my hands, scrape some off, apply it. I thought that was the dumbest shit in the world. If you want to sponsor me, please do, but I'm just being honest. That shit made no sense to me. And it's like simple business practices. How am I supposed to apply this with a stick in the middle? I didn't think so. So that was backwards as hell, but it worked. Um, and on the pricier side, though, Primal Pit Paste was about, I want to say 10 and up. But I'm pretty sure it was more on the upside. And I guess it always varies, also depends on where you live. I live in Brooklyn. I was getting it from Whole Foods, so it was not cheap. Um, but did like Primal Pit Paste. I hope I'm being informative. Cause I really want you guys to understand what's going on here. Um, the last few that I'm gonna talk about, luckily I have examples. When I was shopping for a natural deodorant, let me let you guys get a look at it. This is the spray version, and then this is the solid, well, liquid version, and then this is the solid. I recently ordered this, as you can see, it's a full bottle, but this was pretty cheap. I got two of these bottles on Amazon for like $8, and this itself was like 9 but I've had this for a minute. As you can see, I have been using it because it dissolved. So I've seen this for a while, but you know, when they be like, world's best, 100%, yada, yada, I be thinking it's bull. This is actually one of my favorites. Um, excuse me. Let me explain why. Um, let's do pros and cons. The con of this would be the application process. It's not hard, but it's like not convenient because if I'm like in a rush and I'm like, oh, I'm trying to run, get dressed, blah, blah, blah. This is not convenient. Um, what this basically is, is a big ass piece of salt. Literally, if you look at the ingredients, mineral salt. It's the only thing it says, is mineral salt. Um, so it's a piece of salt, and I didn't understand how that works, but basically, you, you wet this. I usually just spray it with a water bottle that I keep in my room. You wet this, and then you rub it on your arm, and it dissolves. Ooh, my face is itching. The ghetto. Every time I go on my face, man, something wanna itch. 
But yeah, you put it on your face and I said your face, Lord, you put it on your underarms and you rub it. You wet it and then you rub it so it's supposed to dissolve. Okay, cool. And the idea is that the salt creates a barrier that kills the bacteria that causes you to stink. And that does work. Um, so when you apply it, clearly it's kind of just like a liquid. It will run. So I have like a small little personal fan in my room. So I usually apply it in front of that, let it dry somewhat. Because if you just rub that on while it's wet, they put on a t-shirt, it's going to wipe off. Um, so that's like the only down thing. I have to reapply it like I would have reapplied anything else. But it does last for some time. Like, it does last. I've had this one on for like close to a whole day without having to reapply. So it does work. The spray. I thought it would be convenient. But my one worry when I did get this spray was how much salt is actually in here. With this, you kind of have some control of how much you apply. With this, you don't really know how diluted this is. Um, I've sprayed this and I don't really feel like it does anything. So what I do with this now is I'll use this instead of the water, just the water. So kind of like double the power, not really, but might as well. I'll use it if I'm like going to sleep. I don't really go to sleep with deodorant on. I never have. Um, but this is like light enough. So if I'm going to sleep, I know I'm Gucci. Um, yeah, one of my faves. And on and on the economically friendly side, definitely one of my faves. Because this was like $9 and I had this for, I want to say, two to three months. More than two, though. So it's worth it, opposed to when, you know, dear order would be like $8, $9 and you having to buy it every month. And I usually keep two, one at home, one in my bag. So that's about $20 plus every month. So this one is definitely a good one. It says it's hypoallergenic. I did have a problem with this one time, but I just think my underarms are sensitive or me re it was just me over applying. Like not exactly on my underarm, but like on the outskirts of my underarm. Cause I apply it like this whole area. But like on the outskirts of my underarm, it was just like a little irritated. It wasn't the whole underarm, but there was a spot that looked a little raw. So I eased up on applying it outside. Like I keep within the range. And last but not least, the deodorant that moved me today because this shit had me smelling like a fucking lima bean. Now, I don't really know what lima beans smell like, but if I had to imagine, it would be this. Now, I've seen every man jack. I think they have a every woman or maybe I'm thinking of the own one. I don't know. I've seen this for some time and I thought about trying it, but I'm always skeptical when actually deodorants with anyone. So, me and my boyfriend, he needed to buy deodorant the other day. And we were looking, whatever, blah, blah, blah. We smelled this. It was a decent price. This was like 7 to $8, which is reasonable financial deodorant. And in the container, it smelled really nice. It smells really nice. But some things don't smell nice once you start to sweat. And that's the problem. This is the volcano clay. They have other scents, which I'm pretty sure would work. I think there was like a mountain spring one even, which I thought about getting too. That one reminded me of Irish. What was this one? This one reminded me of Irish Spring. The smell of this makes me nauseous. So my boyfriend got it. I was like, ooh, it smells so good. And you so the next day I went and bought me one. Because I'm like, I'm tired of rubbing that piece of salt on. This is more convenient. I'm at work and I'm like, okay. I'm sweating, so maybe that's why. Let me go refresh. Okay, cool. The next day I'm at work and I'm like, why am I this musty? I don't understand. I'm sweating, but I'm not sweating that hard. And I just realized that it's just the deodorant. This doesn't match with my chemistry. It didn't match with his either. I was like nauseous. Like when I tell you I was really bad, and it's like, okay, I washed my ass. There's no reason why I smell like this. It's just deodorant. This smell is nasty. It smells like lima beans. That's all I could think about is that I smell like a fucking, like lima bean juice. The consistency is cool, as far as I know. Like, I don't have any problems with anything but the smell. I definitely want to try another one. I'm probably going to try another scent. But this, Volcano Clay from Everyman Jack. No, it's, this should stink. I was so mad yesterday. When I tell you, I came home. And just was like, ugh, I could not wait to wash my ass. Like, 
that deodorant stinks. And my boyfriend was like, no, 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 no. And now today he online buying another smell. Cause I'm like, I can't lay up with you. Cause you smell like llama bean juice. It's nasty. So I believe I went through my entire list making good time. It's 26 minutes. Give some like tips and information about natural deodorant. You have to detox. Now some people use like the benzenoid clay mask and yada, yada, yada. When I started wearing that deodorant, this was when I was a party girl, so I was in the streets. So when I would go to the club, I wouldn't wear natural deodorant. That would be the times when I wore the antiperspirant and I wore natural deodorant every other day because I just couldn't afford to be in the club musty. I'm a dancer. I'd be in there thinking I'm the, the dance hall queen and don't nobody want to be in a club musty because when me and my homegirls is out, ain't nobody trying to be like, oh, I'm gonna go, I stink, no. So that's what I was doing initially. And then I fully gave in eventually. I just would carry it with me. Um, I was ripe in the beginning, but the ripeness is uh, apart from you detoxing and making you ripe, it's figuring out what works. So like, there's gonna be a lot of trial and error. So I would say to try to transition in the winter. Um, if you're somebody who sweats a lot, Try it out at home, we're in quarantine. If you work from home, this is the perfect time to do this. Uh, you wanna really test the strength of one, try it in the gym. Um, you have to give a deodorant two weeks to a month. Cause your body changes. Um, it might not like something at first and then it adapts. Your body changes, so I'd say to really give it a try. Um, there's a lot of things to try. There's a lot of de deodorants. Read reviews, but reviews aren't like word is bond. Like they're not the the end all be all of a deodorant. Cause some people hate the things that I would use. So I would say to do your research, be ready to spend a couple dollars. If you can get sample sizes, are like native sells um a sample size pack, a travel size sample pack, which is like five deodorants I believe. It's like twenty five dollars. That's definitely worth it. You get to try different scents. So why the fuck not? Let it dry. Don't, when I shoot deodorant, it's very rare that you can like put it on and run out the house. I usually put on my deodorant last anyway, but I've learned to like, one, spread them out with your finger to make sure it really gets in there. And then maybe stand in front of a fan with your arms up for like a minute or two if you can. It is a little time consuming, but honestly, I don't think I'm ever gonna go back to like regular deodorant. I just refuse for health reasons and just, my underarms feel amazing. They're super soft, even the hair under there. You would've thought I like deep conditioned my underarm hair. Um, they're not the lightest, but they're definitely way healthier than what they were.